We are out here at Topaz Mountain, and that's the secret location we're gonna show you guys today. And this is what the road's like. To, <laughs> and this is what the road's like to get into it. Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. If you're new, welcome, I hope you subscribe. Today we are out at Topaz Mountain. Most of you are familiar with the main bowl area. That's it over there. Let me get, there you go, now you can see it. So that's the main bowl area over here. This is the back side of it. Most people will enter from the other side. We're north of it today at kind of a secret location that I found years ago. And we are going to go ahead and show that to you guys. So, like always, I will post the GPS coordinates right up here for you guys. So you know how to get here, or know where it is. I need to show you guys maybe how to get here using them. But, anyway, so this is the spot. What we're going to do is we're going to search this area. So over here, traditionally, I've found a lot of good uh, topaz crystals. You can also find some pseudobrookite up on the ridge there. Um, I think any further than about here, I haven't really seen anything. And I don't find much here. It's mostly a zone, but it's relatively untouched because we discovered it years ago. And I usually find pretty good stuff up here. So we're hoping to have a good day up here. And I'm joined with Tim and Utah Rocks, the other YouTuber that I've been out with a few times. So I brought them along with me. We're gonna look for some topaz. He drug us along. <laughs> <laughs> drug you guys along, huh? Without I also, our, without our knowing, <laughs> I'm also going to kind of show you some of the tools we're using. So pry bars are really helpful at Topaz Mountain because you're going to break a lot of hard rocks. So hammers, chisels, wedges, uh, the hand pick I don't use as much, but yeah, tools like this we definitely use. Also, <clears throat> it's nice to have like little bamboo sticks and stuff to dig into pockets to get the topaz crystals out when you find a pocket. And yeah, oh, and little containers like this and maybe some tissue paper to wrap your nice stuff in. Those are some of the tools we use. Yeah, so let's get out there and find some topaz. Yeah, this place has not been hit very hard. So here we are. So we're just parked down there. You can probably see the vehicle. So we've walked, what, 300 feet? There's uh, the main Topaz Mountain. And this is our special spot that we found. So this zone has a vent structure right here that we've been working. And this is what I was working on last where Tim's sitting. I want to try and move that rock because I think the vent structure is digging under it. As you can see, you have little pockets that are the air bubbles, but then you have these much larger ones like his bag sitting in that are just a series of chambers that dive into the rock. These are called vent structures. This is what you're looking for, because that's where you're gonna find most of your topaz. Because you can find topaz in pockets all over, but here you just find topaz after topaz after topaz following a vent. Anything on that, Tim? I got a little one right here, but it's stuck in the rock. Okay. Oh no, it's actually a big one. Oh good, I found a big one sticking to the rock. I did bring spray bottles if you need them. Here Tim, I'll toss you a spray bottle. <clears throat> oh, it's a nice one. Alright, we're going to have to get down there and take a look. Let me get the macro lens on so we can see this. Okay Tim, let's take a close up of that beautiful little cluster he's found on the rock there. Nice, nice little cluster. It's still kind of dirty. Yeah. Might have to take it home and clean it off a little further. Maybe we'll try and break the rock down a little bit. Just yeah. get some of this stuff off. But yeah, look at that. Tim just found a pocket in the back. So we're hoping there's some crystals in it. Yep, there's some right there. Got a little bit right on the edge. That little crystal. Okay. Oh, I can see stuff down there. Yep. So we have a pocket. We got a pocket. We got a pocket. Tim is extracting a crystal. Blow it off a little bit. Nice little triple. Oh, there's a crystal right there. Yeah. It's a little one, but it's a crystal. Nice little thing. Fresh from the mountain. 
Oh, nice. Oh, so Utah Rocks has got his first nice crystal. Woo! Excellent. Just right below Tim. Tim just pulled this one out of his pocket. Very nice. Look at that pocket. Look at all that good, good looking stuff. We got topaz crystals on the edges. Yep. Here's another little Tiny piece. little thing. Yep. <laughs> so we broke into more pocket right here. So you can see a bunch of crystals down in there. And then right here, there was a bunch that fell out. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Oh, hold on. I got the best one in my hand. Okay, are you ready for this one? Okay. That one looks like it was a little exposed to the sun, but overall, pretty nice still. I'm trying to get you in there so you can see it. I got a nice cluster on the side there. Some nice crystals. Just, this is a really nice pocket. It's all, it's lined with crystals. Okay, Tim, what'd you find? <laughs> <laughs> just pulled it out right there yeah right in there so I'll clean it off a little bit nice good sized one unfortunately a lot of, a lot of sand in it but overall still pretty nice look at what Tim just pulled out look at this thing look at those topazes in it wow can you imagine when we get it cleaned off wow Topaz is all through where the white is. That it's is in and out of the white. So cool. Just a quick update of where we're at. This is what we've found thus far. Just I'm shocked I'm stuff, finding this pocket. Stuff all over. And then here's the pocket as it is. We've got crystal clusters still all over the edges of it. So you can see we've managed to get a lot of stuff off the edge now. There's still quite a bit to get, but let's take a look at it. <laughs> what do you think of our haul so far? <laughs> look at those things. Lots of matrix specimens that are really nice, like this one right here. Look at that. Just tons of stuff. So nice. <laughs> Tim's just going at it over in this pocket. I came down this way and I found this little pocket and I've been digging a while and I got a few things out, but then I finally got a really good one. Look at that. <sighs> Look at that piece. We'll get that cleaned off. That'll be nice. So after a bit of digging, that's what happened to that hole. This was the hole I dug. That's what I ended up getting out of mine. And then Tim got all of this. So we're gonna start boxing everything up, putting it in containers. Cause we got a ton to go through. So we uh, got everything packed up. We got it in the bucket. So we got, a, we got a nice amount of stuff in the bucket. A spray bottle with water. <laughs> a crowbar to the head okay so yeah we are uh, cleaning up here it's starting to get pretty warm we'll be heading out in a, in a bit and I'll get home and get all those cleaned off so the next video you see is gonna see all these specimens cleaned off I just wanted to quickly show you everything we came back with so we got a ton of things you're not gonna be able to see it very well because it's in the shade and I don't have the macro lens on but yeah, this is full of topaz. And I've just got water in these because I'm cleaning them all off. But yeah, that's what we got, quite a lot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount this and then we'll take a closer look with the macro lens. But we're just gonna look at the really good ones because there's just too much to go through otherwise. Let's get started. So this, a little hard to show. Yeah, try this. It's a little double terminated crystal. We ended up getting quite a few double terminated crystals. Got this one right here. Very nice. Got this one, which also ended up being another double terminated crystal. And then we got this one right here. Also very nice. Here's this nice little one. 
There's this nice little one. Look how clear the top of that is. Very nice. This is that first nice one that Tim found. Another nice little one. A larger one, but not quite as nice. This is one of those what you call sandy crystals where as it was growing it incorporated a lot of little grains of sand into it that were on the edge of the pocket. We got this nice little one. Here's a really nice one. It's actually double terminated. You can see the edge of it going there. It's a really nice one again. Nice little cluster. Nice two crystals coming off of each other. I guess you could call it a twin. Here's that nice large twin that I found in my pocket next to Tim's big pocket. That was the best thing I found in mine. Really nice. Good quality. Here's a neat little piece growing off the matrix. So you got that nice purple I'm not exactly sure if it's fluorite or fluorapatite. It's hard to tell because it's so tiny. But look at that nice crystal with a tiny little one coming right off the side of it. This is the large crystal cluster that came out of Tim's pocket. That crystal right there is beautiful. Just a nice cluster. Now we're moving on to the specimens that are on Matrix. So we've got a nice crystal in there. It's on Matrix. Got this nice crystal right here on Matrix as well. Got a little crystal right here on the edge of this one. This one was one of my favorite. All that purple. And then look at that double terminated crystal beautifully perched there in another one. Just beautiful specimen. Now we're getting into the larger specimens. They're still kind of wet. So you got those nice, that nice cluster right there. And this beautiful, just overall specimen. You got little topazes all over the place. And then you got this little white botryoidal, probably chalcedony. That's right here on the top. But yeah, neat stuff. In this area, you get a lot of hematite blades. Those little black things, in case you're wondering, are blades of hematite. Here's the final one. It was the big one. And I really liked this one, too. So you got that purple all over. And then just a whole series of crystal topaz right through here. And a whole bunch of the white chalcedony. But I wonder, it might be calcite or something else. But I, I think it's chalcedony. But look how you got these crystals nestled in here like that one and there's one there and I wonder how many more are just hiding underneath it's just such a cool cool piece so yeah kind of the biggest high quality specimen of the of the dig very nice let's end it on that beautiful crystal right there And that was our dig at Topaz Mountain. Weren't those beautiful? It was a wonderful day. Tim knocked it out of the park finding the uh, continuation of the vent structure. And Utah Rocks found some great stuff too. You'll have to go check out his channel to see what he found. And it was a fantastic day. And now you guys know where it is. So you're welcome to go check it out yourself. Now, 
At the time I'm filming this, I'm on the verge of hitting a thousand subscribers. And by the time you guys see this, I will probably have already hit the thousand subscribers. So yay, thank you guys so much. And that means I'm going to be doing a video next week for the 1,000 subscriber special. So what I'm gonna do is do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away some of these specimens and awesome things I've collected as gifts to you guys, as a thank you for your help in getting me to where I am right now to hit the 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, a huge thank you to you guys, and I hope you enjoy. I'll do that next week, and then uh, we'll get those mailed out after we determine who the winners are. Anyway, have that to look forward to next week. So stay tuned and remember, there is treasure everywhere.